Well, actually, my freshman year was the, the first gas crisis. Right. Um, and I remember very well um, lines at the gas stations and people getting locks for their gas um, cap because people would, would have their gas siphoned off, um, you know, by, by people that were, you know, they, they had the gas stolen. And I'll never forget this one time, oh my dear, I had um, borrowed my roommate's car and she had a lock on her gas cap. And we were up in, in um, I had a date, and we were up in D.C. and we decided we better stop and get gas before we came back. And we got in this huge line and waited and waited and inched our way up to the front. And when we got to the pump, I didn't have the key to the gas cap. So I didn't, you know, we had wasted all that time and all that gas in line and still couldn't fill up the tank. And so I felt pretty stupid. Um, but we did manage to coast back into Fredericksburg. I mean, we, we got back with, with um, probably on fumes, but, but we did manage to make it back. But yes, we, we felt those kinds of things. Um, the big Vietnam protests had pretty much um, were over by then. That, that those were really um, in the late 60s and early 70s. Um, and by 73, things were pretty apathetic. Um, I mean, they, they, I mean, there was still some talk about it, but it, it was by that time everybody I think was just so tired of it and over it that you know they just didn't really engage much with um, with that kind of thing. Although Watergate was a, a big thing, um, President Nixon resigned. You know, the whole Watergate thing had been, was ongoing when I came to college, and he resigned at the very beginning of my sophomore year.